Hello everyone. So today we'll be looking at how to use the exclusive item available within the Minecraft Education Edition. So they are actually the permission blocks and the poster items. So first off, make sure you are creating a world within a um, creative mode. And then you can access these items by pressing E to open up the items menu. So the chalkboard is actually found under the items tab right here. And chalkboards actually come in three different sizes. It can be a slate, it can be a poster, or it can be a board. But for today, we'll be just working with posters. Okay. Um, the permission blocks are actually found under the construction tab right beside the ladder. Okay. So they actually named border. So they help you to define um, the boundaries within your world and ensure that you players playing your world do not exceed these boundaries. Okay. So first, we'll look at how we use posters. So again, scroll until you are holding a poster and then right click on the ground. And after which, you will see a pop up where you can add um, the information that you want to include within your poster. So, for example, I can add um, the text this is a sample poster. And then players within your world will then see this textual information clearly on the poster. So this is a very good way uh, for you to convey any information to the players within the world or instructions to the players in the world. Okay, And you can also edit the information that you are displaying by simply right clicking on the poster and adding on the information. Next, we'll move on to permission blocks. So scroll until you are holding a permission block and then you can right click to place it down. So make sure that your world, uh, your world builder status is set. Your world builder status is set true first by toggling the world builder status on and off. So you can go to the command terminal and type slash wb. In in this case, it was uh, updated to be false, so I need it to be true. So I'll do it again, and now my world builder status is true. Okay. So on the surface, it looks like this permission blocks are actually not really doing anything. So I can place them underground, I can place them above ground, and then I can cover them up. And they're not really helpful as borders, as I can actually just walk past them. Okay, but actually, uh, when I turn my world builder status off, so now I'm actually like a normal player in the world, you realize that I cannot jump over the permission blocks, nor can I walk over the, the permission blocks. Okay, so when used wisely, these permission blocks can actually form the border within your world and does not allow the users to exceed the boundaries defined in your world. So they cannot go outside of the boundaries of the world and start to create their own stuff in your world 